My Gavan and Melunin, and well met indeed. I'm Arakir Galadirithan, head of the modding team behind Divide and Conquer. But welcome back to the Heralds of Ariel in Warhammer 2 as we continue on fighting the good fight for the Wood Elves. In our last, last episode, in our last episode, we successfully defeated quite convincingly so a vast Clan Moors army from up here. Um, led, of course, by the Sisters of Twilight. Well, rather, our army was led by the Sisters of Twilight. And w the battle happened... Unfortunately, I had to rush away at the end of the last episode, so we haven't done any of the pre-battle, post-battle stuff yet. But Clan Moors have been destroyed, the force they brought against us. Many of them have been killed. We've held Mount Arachnos. But now the Sisters have to quickly jump ship and head south, where we meet Thramut, and to kill him before he can take Karak Zorn. But, of course, all the while he lives, our population likes us a bit more for some bizarre reason, and so our... Um, happiness goes up. Elsewhere, though, of course, things are not all good. And Finduilas, or uh, she's not called Finduilas, it's the actual Lord of the Rings name, Thulas was killed by the um, clan Pestilence. And Shlanquapek has fallen to them, has, as has Ashlotl. And the Itza are not doing anything to help. Which is a damn shame. But what we can do now is build some things in Edrin Lasgallan and get an army ready, retrain. We have another hero waiting in the wings. Um... Um, Dodan, there she is. Um, oh, was she actually killed? Oh, if we raise or sack Storag Kor, we get just some money for that. Oh, that's pretty cool. We've only got a turn to do that, though. Um, yeah, did she actually die, die? Oh, yes, I believe she did. So the last is completely gone, which is a damn shame. But we need to prepare an army swiftly, because if these people want to move in on Erun Asgallan, we will need defences. In the north, where we find Ilfrun defending Lothlorien, um, Nagarond actually haven't bothered to attack us. And if we just kind of keep waiting it out, Nagarond might start to slowly like us. Because we now have a lot of positive bonuses with them. We have 45... We have 60 plus points from um, from research and whatnot. So we should be able to just actually get Nagarond on side. I'm not all that bothered about fighting a war with Nagarond. I'm more interested in going over and hitting the um, Empire and those kinds of lands. Which is why I'm not too keen on having some sort of extended war with them here. But anyway, there we are. So that's an update. Now let's go through and actually do the post-battle stuff. So the sisters have improved again. They've gained one more point. We were making them... We're going down this side at the moment, improving their archers, which I think we should probably carry on doing. Um, we're not too concerned about the things along that line. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to finish that off. Perfect. And Ariel also, by the looks of it, has gone up. She has indeed. We can keep improving her spells, as we shall do. Um... Apotheosis would be good if we had something that we could actually use it for. But no, we'll go down there. That's perfect. Um, the army here, I do actually want to just nip out and finish them off. Uh, take the 6 to 8, what the hell. Ah, Regiment Renown Unlocked. Wild Hunters of Kurnos. Wild Riders of the Shield. And Lost Sylvan Knights. Great Stag Knights. Oh, nice. And then we killed all those people in battle. We stole some trinkets. Sanctuary is ours. Yeah. Oh, and they both leveled up again. It's so easy to level people up. As some of you have now pointed out and noted, our Forge of Daith button is broken because the creators of the game made a patch or a bug fix for the Forge. But unfortunately, for the effects to take effect, you had to restart the campaign, and I've not done that. So we will never now get the ability to access the Forge ourselves. But I think every now and then it still does pop up for us. Uh, right, I'm going to move. I'm going to improve the Hawk Riders. I think is the next thing. But what we definitely need to do, courtesy of the tips that I'm getting, and thank you very much to Jamali who continues to keep me going with this and giving me excellent help and advice as we're playing through. Um, something that we should consider is changing out our war dancers for a better unit. Um, something that will actually be able to do something. But with all the money that we've got, let's focus on Erin Lasgallan first. Look how many things here can be upgraded. So many things can be improved here. Um, and many things can be built. Do we want a guard platform down here or is that a waste of time? We definitely want an Azurai Forge. Um, but it's troops really that we want to focus on at the moment. But I will just build that actually whilst I can. And then to be honest I think I probably will go for a guard platform. Uh, because we're going to be attacked here. So we can recruit a lord. But as you say we've got Dodan but she's of the shadows. I'm not too bothered about a, a shadow wielding... Um, spell weaver to be honest I'd much rather keep sticking with the law of life and given that we have to pay the same cost for any of them it matters not 
She gets better Winds of Magic at the start and an excellent melee attack bonus during forest battles. And she just has range for the Lord's Army. Oh, it's going to be you. Talent of Kornos. Ara, Spellweaver, welcome. Move her into the city. Let's not make that mistake again. And she comes up to tier 6 anyway, so we might as well just kick Dodan out. And just get rid of her. Um, campaign movement range. We've got 5 points to use. Do we want to... None of these are recruitment costs down, though, are they? No. So I'm not too worried about going up to Quartermata just yet because she's going to be involved in fighting. So let's improve the Awakening of the Wood so that that does the most damage that it can. Uh, let's give her Inspiring Presence and let's improve our Archers here as well. It seems to me that Archers getting improvements is probably always the best thing to do because we're such an Archer-heavy faction. Oh, we can get some tree kin. Um yes, 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 yes. Charge defense against large foes. Yeah, they're a good defensive line unit. War dancers are the unit that um, have been suggested as the best melee force that we can obtain. Uh, but let's get four of those. I'll take four of those. Um, I will take two tree kin actually, um, and then. Two more archers. We're getting into four turns now. Something that we could do is also recruit a regiment of renown unit for her, but then they're all units. Oh, the Zoets were good, weren't they? They did really, really well. The Lost Sylvan Knights. What's our kind of uh, pin for comparison? The Zoets have more health, more armor, less leader, less speed, less melee attack, interestingly, but they have better melee defense and much better weapon strength. And a down a charge bonus. So the Stag Knights are fantastic charge cav. And then the Zoets are better once you're actually in battle. They're also anti-large, interestingly. So they counter other larger units. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I'm going to go with the Zoets, I think. I think they might be more beneficial to us. Oh, I can't. They need nine turns. Bugger. Bugger, 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 bugger. Um, go on, then. We will take you, then. Ta-da. Perfect. Welcome to the fight. Oh, I know. You know what you should do? You know what you should do? You know what you should do? I am ready. Oh, you can only move one at a time, though, can't you? Yeah. The Deep Roots is once per turn. I was thinking we should bring Ilfran down, and he can defend down here, and we'll send her north. Um, that's what we should have done. That is absolutely what we should have done. But that's all right. We get a big garrison in Erun Lascallon, and it's only going to get bigger. And the rat men can't reach us just yet. So we'll have at least one turn. And I'd rather leave Ilfran up there anyway. Right, let's turn to research then. So we've now gone up to Kitharai. Kitharai? Kaithari? Kaitharai? Who knows? But anyway, the Dark Elves like us a bit more. Winds of Power is better. Law of Dark Magic spells. Diplomatic Relations plus 10 with Dark Elves again. And Global Recruitment Council improved by 2. Yes, I think I will take that. <laughs> We're focusing so heavily on getting these Dark Elves to like us. <laughs> but that will, again, help hugely. If I can then pull Ilfran out of Lothlorien, that's the goal. That's my ultimate aim here. We don't want him trapped in Lothlorien. Oh, I forgot about Ariel. She has another. She can improve something else again. Um, I don't use Word of Pain all that much, but I have been using Shield of Thorns, actually. And those are all the sisters. Those are all the thorn unit things. No, we want to just keep going down the line, don't we? What does Isha's Blessing 2 do? Uh, let's get that, sod it. Let's get that. Nice, well done. Right, um, so they will all re replenish. Let's end the turn and see what Clan Pestilens are going to do. Pestilens, I think we can hold off in Erud Lascalan, and I, I don't really want to abandon one of these forest areas. My aim is to get Nagarond on side, and that will solve the Northwest. We can then just leave the Northwest forever and never have to come back. Uh, and then we can start focusing on hitting places in the Empire. Um, and I want to get these. Dune kings on side as well. I don't want to fight against them. Oh, the rebels have come. The rebels have got a lot of rat ogres. Um, so many, in fact, that I really don't think we're going to win this, but we're going to have to fight it. There's no way round it. We can't allow the AI to fight this battle, so we must. Thilvokas, you are charged with the defense of Karak Zorn. And despite the fact that it is, of course, a dwarven mine built into the mountains, easily defensible, you might think. No, 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 children. It is not. It is instead a field battle, because of course... I mean, that's just the, that's the one thing that stands out to me the most with Warhammer, is just make sieges actual sieges. Stop them being battle maps. 
Like, it just makes no sense. Look at this over here. Why aren't we defending that gate wall thing? Like, that just makes no sense. We've allowed the enemy to walk through that gate, come through this cavern, walk underneath this ridiculously easily defensible bridge, and then come and stand on this plateau. And not only that, we've then given them a bit of a hill. <laughs> like, in what universe does that make sense? That's the, absolutely the thing that needs to change the most. Far and away. There cannot be any doubt about it. Are you actually in the trees there? No, sadly, it's not enough of a tree. Alright, stand there then. Alright, you guys get ready to run at the enemy. You're going to run at the enemy as well. I still put you on the right, actually. You guys are going to have to form a stalwart defensive line. Uh, and then you two can stand further forward and move back. Defensive line. Archers in position. Wildwood. You're not being shot at just yet, so stay where you are. Move them forward. Right, the enemy is rushing you though, so let's pull you back. Bit of speed, bit of haste. Let's go, boys. Chuck a couple of shots back at them while you're running away though. Oh, nice. Right they actually die quite easily to arrow fire, don't they? They're like uh, shock infantry in Med 2. Oh, those rat ogres are being... Come on, Deepwood Scouts, run. Oh, that one that's pushing in on you, though, is looking like it might rout. Yes, it is. Fantastic. They're hitting us with the great beam of light from the sky. Frequent occurrence. They've hit our line. But that's all right. Hmm, yeah. Do you get a... Charge defense against large foes. Yes, we really actually wanted the rat ogres to hit them, and it's not been possible. They were never going to. They were. They were always going to try and target. Um... Uh, no, yeah, we're going to get massacred here. Absolutely massacred. Not only are we already outnumbered, but those rat ogres. The only unit that's really actually any good against rat ogres are our archers and our spearmen. All three of the... These units really don't seem to be all that to, for, for me, to be honest. I don't know if they're better for others. Turn a guard flank around there. You guys keep running because you can. Um, oh, and of course they've got a general, haven't they? But then they're only going to... They'll take the town and then the sisters will be here in a turn, so it's alright. Nice, nice. Right, yep. I know you're a defensive unit, but that doesn't matter when there's no one running at you. Time to be aggressive. Oh, come on, shoot these units while they're engaging our spearmen. Target those rat ogres before they hit us again. Go on, go on, go on, go on, go on, go on, go on. There they are, rat ogres. They do not like arrow fire. They really do not like arrow fire. Yeah, they're ratty. Next up, volley, come on. Knock and loose. Knock and loose. Run those around. No, don't run away. You're paramount. You're absolutely vital to our victory condition. <laughs> we can use the Deepwood um, scouts because they can fire while they move, which is very helpful. But then they run quite slowly. Oh, no, go that way, go that way, go that way. Uh, Spearmen are holding those, but no, they can just kill as many as we can. The sisters are only a sort of turn away. Oh, you came back to the fight. Good, get back involved. Cover our scouts as they run. We're getting some kills. I mean, we've done all right, haven't we? We've not done too badly. Well, we've lost more than half, and they haven't even lost half. We never miss. I think you might. I think you do. I am... The first to try uh, to willingly believe your lies, because 
I want to believe them so very, very much. <laughs> but it's clear to me that they are just that. Come on, guys. Get back in the fight. Come on. You know you want to. Oh, they're defending against the Rattogas. Oh, they did have a ranged unit over there. Of course, if we could kill the general, we could probably turn this in our favour. But the general's very unlikely to die. Oh, the archers did come back. Target them. Yeah, the general is... Even if every other unit survives, the general is likely to uh, wipe us out, to be honest. Got some archers ready there. These guys are wasting their arrows on clan rats who are already running away. But if we tell them to... You can't tell them to target and run. When they run, they you choose their own targets. Much like skirmishing in Med 2. Oh, they're running away again. Can you hold those ogres? It just, it just feels a little unnecessary to fight battles like this. Because if you're going to die, the enemy will replenish anyway. So it feels almost like if you know you're going to die, just don't bother fighting it. It serves little purpose. Unless you can attack in that very same turn. So the fact that we can't actually revenge this battle for at least two turns means that most of the successes we've just achieved will be completely undone by the time the other army arrives. Because Thramut will have replenished his stock of ratmen. But some fantastic work from the Deepwood Scouts there. 135 and 98. We lost almost identical unit numbers, but of course they just started with more. Had they only had the rat eggers, I think we might have done all right. Um, but with the chaff following up behind, there was little we could do. But we'll pop down and take Carrick Zorn back. Here we are, yeah. Grant Army's Talismans. Oh. Magic resistance on all armies and immune to attrition on all armies for five turns. Oh. Um, we'll take armor, what the hell. Oh, Malice Darkblade. We're not... Why are we at war with Malice Darkblade? I am Malice, tyrant of Hagno. Oh, well. No. Cold One Dread Knights, Cold One Chariots, Blood Rack Medusa himself, and two Black Guard of Nagaron. Uh, obviously, we could move out and attack him, but I'd rather just secure Karak Zorn. I don't want an, a threat behind us. So, if he wants to take Mount Arachnos, be my guest, to be honest. We're going to move up and take Zorn, and we're going to do that by start marching everyone. Uh, if we go under the ground, we can move, move belly anywhere, but if we march, we can get to there. Which means on the next turn, we should be able to get Karak Zorn in normal mode. So that'll work out all right. And what did Pestilence do? They're moving on Chakwa. Well, of course they are. Of course they bloody are. Oh, that can be upgraded. It reduces building costs. Oh, we should have built that a long time ago. That gives us, though, it's Nimbus Shrouded Cops. It also gives better defensive units. Um, and doesn't really do much else. Um, no, I think we'll... Um, continue to sort of stockpile our money. Oh, hang on, actually. Does the secondary, does that give extra recruitment? It drops the recruitment costs. So, yeah, cool. Balls to it. We'll get that. And then we can queue all them up again, and they should be 10% cheaper. And up here. No movement from Nagarond yet. We really want to get Ilfran out. We really, really do. As soon as we've got some sort of peace with this northern side, we will be able to pull him south and assist. We are strength rank 16 and they are strength rank 1. But at the minute, unfortunately, of course, we are reliability is low. I, I don't think Nagaron's actually all that bothered about moving in on us. At your service. Oh, when you click on a nation, it shows you their relations to the others. I wondered why we lost the crosses with uh, Nagaron just then. Little things, little things that you learn as you're playing along. Right, 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 right. I think we can end the turn again. We're still trying to get Kasabar on side. They they really like us, and it's only improving. And I think the only reason we can't be good friends at the moment is because of my low rank, because of that foolish and misguided attack of the Sentinels of D. But let's see what happens over here. Let's see if Malice attacks Mount Arachnos. He's welcome to it, to be honest. He's got a pitiful army, uh, and he did attack Mount Arachnos. He has an absolutely ridiculous army, um, compared to my army, of course. 
So we'll just clear up behind us and then we'll move in. Oh, and they hit Chakwa. No, I'm not going to fight that one either. We'll accept the defeat. This is why we need the Dark Elves on side. Who, Pestilence have just come out of basically nowhere. The Edsa were powerful and boarded us on all sides. Um, we put down the Orc infestation some time ago, which helped aided us, of course. But now Pestilence is just absolutely running amok. Oh, they... Um, I have absolutely no idea. Throughout the world, the... As many of passes was weakened, but the Arcane Lords remain to us. Solve the puzzle. Absolutely no clue whatsoever. Wouldn't even know where to begin, to be honest. This is the kind of thing that I would pour over for some time, like 30 minutes to an hour before I actually made my decision. But in this case, that would make for a terrible thing to watch. Now, um, all are present on the board. I'm going to go with that one. Ah, we failed. Why did the Ratman not take Karak Zorn? Oh, and not only that, but Karak Zorn is the blooming major settlement, and it still doesn't even have a battle map. Are you joking? I should have just colonised them, but we probably still can, can't we? Oh, no, you can't do it this turn. That's all right, that's all right. He can keep moving down. That's no problem to me. Oh, you can upgrade. Um, Yeah, go on. What the hell? No reason not to. Another turn, they'll get three more units. It's coming together quite nicely over here. All right, we'll hold them back. And not only that, but we should be able to then move on them. But another in turn must pass. I don't understand why the Ratman Rebellion didn't take Karak Zorn, and where then has that army gone? Um, why, would a, why would a Rebellion just sack the town they rose up to attack? Why wouldn't they claim it? I just don't understand. Oh, and brilliant, our war with the Sentinels has now brought them on our door as the Itza slowly die away to nothingness. Which is just what you want, isn't it? Oh, recruitment cost down, recruitment rank for all units. Yes. We'll do that. Because we've now just built that building as well, which means we can train troops here far cheaper. So we'll take two more of them, and they'll also all now recruit with more experience. And we've lost that ability. Blade Singers, Forest Stalker, Armor Piercing, Anti Infantry, Dodge, Dodge, Shadow Dance of Loic, Anti Infantry, Forest Stalker. What's the difference between you two? Ah, they seem to just be a better version of you. Yes, and they cost more money for that as well. Of course, we can get some really good units from using the global, but the cost is just not, it doesn't merit that really. Uh, let's take a fourth one of them, so we've got a nice defensive line, and then let's take some more archers. Oh, we can get Starfire Shards. Four more archers in there would be nice. And then we've got the two units of... We could go with two of them. Oh, I can get the next one on the next turn. That's fine. It's a shame that we can only recruit three units at a time from there. That's disappointing. Right, moving over here. We no longer have the money to take Karak Zorn. Um, and he's coming for the Lost Plateau. So let's make sure that we don't lose all of our holdings to the Dark Elves down here. Oh, although you know what that's going to mean, don't you? Is that that's going to make Nagarond hate us even more... Because they're going to dislike that we're having actions against them. Yeah. But there's nothing we can do. I mean, we're being attacked by them. What do you want from me, Nagaron? What do you want from me? Bastards. Yeah, we can't do anything there. So let's move north. We'll come down and worry about that later. That little pathetic Skaven scout army is never going to do anything at the Entwife Wood, so we don't need to worry about that. They'll attack the Lost Plateau, and then we'll attack them. So we might fight this one, so that we can weaken their army in preparation for her to move in. What are Pestilence going to do over here? And what are the Sentinels going to do more appropriately? Ah, there we are. He is attacking the Lost Plateau. Um... Hmm, I'm not sure it's worth it. Oh, he sacked it and ran away. You coward. Oh, we're underway interception. Um, do we want to fight that? What have you got? Rat ogres, brood, a brood horror, a brood horror, mutant rat ogre. 
Warcry throwers, clan rats, clan rats spears, storm vermin with a halberd, storm vermin swords and shields. I think we might be able to take that, you know. He can cast spells, but so can we. We've got plenty of archers. I'm going to try it. Balls to it. Uh, although if we wait, we'll get better forces. And we don't know where they're going, do we? He's only rank 6, we're rank 6. We have a lot of archers, we don't have anything to hold the line. And some of our archers can't fire and move. It doesn't think it's in our favour at all. Uh, no, I'm going to decline it, I'm going to decline it. We'll wait till our army is stronger. If we strike from a position of strength, we will lose less forces. And we will then be able to continue to snowball with that strength. Oh dear. War declared across the board. Loads of places. Ah, oh, we got the Dark Elf uh, improvement. Ah, they're moving on the Eatsa. That's interesting. And then we get the last Blade Singer in there. That army's going to cost us a lot of money. Magic item drop chance leadership for all elf units. Income from post battle loot. Charge bonus for Zoet's treatment of forest dragons. The winds of magic. We've looked at that. Winds of magic starting amount is up ten. Hero capacity spell singers. Forest health plus one per turn to all owned magical forest. Dip back with high elves and winds of magic for law of life and law of high magic. Let's go for Kadai then. So we're gonna go through that one again and then get that. And there's the other one for the diplomatic with high elves. Doesn't really matter about the high elves where they're already on side. We're getting an awful lot. In fact, we're, we're soon to complete the research tree. We're only 86 turns in. Not very extensive, is it? Right. That's plus three. That's up. The Lost Plateau can just be repaired. And then you can just move through. Let's move back to map. Oh, do we want to do that? No, let's just um, colonize Karak Zorn then if we're chasing him away. I'm just sending her backwards and forwards. Let's get Karak Zorn back and then we'll move up and hit Arachnos again. Don't really have much need for them down in the southeast. Um, this area, I think, is probably going to be our least used, really. Oh, brilliant. Absolutely smashing. Of course. Of course. Of course. Clan Moors have come back. And they've claimed the Lost Plateau for themselves. I'm assuming they have some sort of alliance with Hagrave. I should expect that they probably do. It's a shame that none of these have actual defensive city battles. They're just not really that useful for us. But the Lost Plateau is one of the... Uh, Ah, uh, Heathlands, so we need it for the wood. Right, we will colonise that. And then just stay in there. Oh, no, 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 no. There we are, just build that. I presume then Hagrief are on their side, which is disappointing. Of the Odi, as a Waystalker, has improved himself. Uh, keep going, we miss our strength. Soon we'll have Nagarond. Soon we'll have Nagarond. There's a Sentinel army. They're, oh yeah, Pestilence are doing a number on the forest. They've got everything south of here. Oh, here's the Itza's main force. So you've got the High Elves there, but then foolishly we're against war with them now. You're not al allied with the... Oh, they have a trading relationship with Pestilence. Of course you bloody do. Uh, what about the Hunt Marshal? Can we get you on side? Reliability has gone up to medium. No way. No way. No way. Uh, they like me. We're trusted friends, but they're not doing very well at all because they're foolishly. Oh, they're no longer at war with the Sentinels. Can we? Can we make peace with them as well? No. All right, we want to try and get a peace treaty with the Sentinels so that they'll attack the Pestilence clan as well. But all of this is Pestilence territory. We've got everything south of there, and the Itz is not doing very well at taking it back. And then we just have... We are entirely surrounded in our pools here. That was... Hmm, disappointing indeed. Disappointing indeed. Uh, they're replenishing a couple of turns. Two turns to full replenishment. He can't reach us in one turn. So we should be alright. We'll get attacked on the second turn. And we've already been up north. Right, so let's watch what Pestilence do down in the south then. As our reliability improves as well, we might then be able to sneak Nagaron's assistance. We need to kill the Pestilence armies before we worry about taking back the towns. Um, but Las Gallen was so close to being able to do the ritual. Once we've done the ritual, we just don't care about this place. We can bugger off. <laughs> we, don't need, we can move on and fight a new enemy. It just doesn't matter. 
It's an interesting campaign. It is proving interesting. And to be honest, I'm in, I am really enjoying it. Uh, Couron and Paravon have confederated. See, if we hit him, they'll get support. But what's your garrison like here, chaps? Oh, you've got a big army. Ah, oh, they're another turn until they're ready, actually. So, we'll see what happens. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure we can... I'm not sure we can wait. If we're going to hit them, I think we need to go now. Ah, oh, there's Typhus Rat. The Itzer have got Lok Mashan, and then they have got that phenomenal garrison force, which should get involved. And we can't move anywhere at the moment because of the training. No, I think I will just train. And did Moors come for us? They've moved outside of the city, that's true. It's Deathmaster snipped himself. He's got a shed load of walk grinders. That's a rubbish army if he actually wants to come and fight us. Uh, we were going to go gold mine, weren't we? But instead, I think we'll go pathway. I think the pathway is always the better option. Hawk riders, treekin, cavalry, casualty replenishment. See, that one gives public order, though, actually. Wild riders, war dancers, treekin. Glade riders, great. Oh, glade guard. No, we're going to go with that one. And he takes a turn as well, so that will be ready. And they'll be replenished by the time Snick attacks. Unless he's going to go underneath and hit the Entwife wood. Ah, oh, dear. And that's the other thing we need to just check. Moors has no diplomatic relations with Hagrove at all. That's interesting. And they actually are starting to like us. They're at war with me. They're not at war. Yeah. They like Nagaron, but they're not at war with Clan Moors yet. It's interesting to see. All right, let's see what's going to happen. It's been a few end turns this time, I'm afraid, but there's always these odd filler episodes every now and then. I call them filler, but they're not really filler, are they? But they... Oh, he's coming with two armies. We've got lightning strike, haven't we? So we've... It's, it's now or never. It's got to be done. We can't risk those two forces combining and hitting us, and our army's just replenished. So we're going to hit them. We shall strike back at the heart of our enemies. Cut them down where they stand. We're losing money because we're being raided by everyone and their mother. And unfortunately, Transiform has inducted a plague in Odin Lascana. Nice. Oh, nice. Uh, they're not really trying to ambush us because we're kind of on their side. You can lightning strike, can't you? Isn't it an option along here? Lightning strike, yes you can. Fantastic. And the army's ready, so let's bloody well do it. Who's the one behind? Trab. They're both kind of rubbish armies, really, aren't they? Oh, that's just to say we're going to run out of money if we don't deal with them. Well, we're going to deal with them. Lightning Strike takes the second army out. Poisoned Wing Globadiers, Night Runner Slingers. I think we are going to annihilate them, personally. Snickich, of course, is a bit of a pain. He is ranked 25, but so are we. If memory serves, he's not that useful as a sort of commanding person. Um, uh, no, Well, no, he's probably a fantastic commander, but he's not got anything that can kill thousands and thousands of us, has he? I don't recall him having powers like Ariel has, for example. He's very good against single targets because he's an assassin, so you would expect it. Oh, are they actually going to... Are they actually going to try and come through the gap? They are, aren't they? The rest of our army, unfortunately, starts a bit further back. But uh, Move as close to the line as you can, because you're going to be running forwards. There's our four defensive units. They can't start forward yet. Target wide. Ariel's the only issue. He might try and hit her. Obviously, we want to trap them in there, but ideally, we, we, we need to be there already, and we're not. So we, we can't think of this like an actual bridge battle. But we can move our forces forward. I'm not going to gamble. 22 is pretty good. We're going to slow it down though. All right, team two. You can fire while you move, so just position yourselves around there. Um, archers, come down here actually. We're never going to get up top of that hill before the enemy hits us. So I just don't think it's worth trying. Hit the units that look like they are sort of grouping up. Poison Wing Globideers. Yeah, get in involved and hit those. Right, Ariel, um, not Ariel, sorry. You guys come forward. The sisters themselves. And we'll move Ariel as well. 
get you over there so that we can do some spells with you. Oh, some of them are routing already. That's ridiculous. Um, I'll take your free Glade Guard unit. Just pop it in wherever. And then I'd love you to do your, your spell. Hawk Riders, move yourselves up there. So it's another archer involved there. Uh, right, guys, you're going you're going too far over that way, actually, aren't you? We need your arrows quicker than that, so get involved over here. Who's shooting at us? Oh, they've got a melee specialist chieftain firing on us as well. Ah, the tree has burst forth. Oh, it is absolutely diabolical. It's turning terribly for them. They're getting massacred. We haven't even done anything yet. Get there instead. Come on, you know you want to get involved, Ariel. Ariel! She's so ready. I can feel it. Go on, punch it. Ah, oh, yes, you did. You did. And it has worked wonders. Oh, they popped up their archers. Ah, oh, yes, they popped up their spawning ability. There's the clan rats. This is over before it's even begun. My word. We have lost four people, and they have lost 394. <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. <laughs> it's just not your day, Skaven, is it? The one thing the Skaven don't do well is enduring ranged attacks. And the one thing that we, rather unfortunately for them, do fantastically well is ranged attacks. Oh, that chieftain just got beamed down. Ah, oh, there he is. There's Snicketch. He's chasing. He's getting scared. He's backing out. He is, in fact, actually backing out. Hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him. Right, melee forces just move forward, because why not? The enemy lord is wounded! Yes! It's over. Jesus. That was the easiest battle I think I've ever fought. How many people did we lose? <laughs> Thirteen! Thirteen brave, brave souls paid, unfortunately. But my word, that was pathetic. Snickage, mate, you need much better army management. You killed one person, and you're... Your backup guy killed one person. So did that mean we killed more of our own people than they killed of us? It does, doesn't it? Does it show you... Um... No, it doesn't really break it down, does it? 136 people killed by the, the sisters themselves. 61 by Ariel. 70 Hawk Riders. 87, 72, 30. That was just mind-bendingly easy. Like, let's just keep the aggression going then. Of course we're going to keep the aggression going. Now we can hit the backup army. And we should get the award for having defeated Snickich as, now, as well now, shouldn't we? You get special awards when you kill legendary lords. I don't think killing is right, really the right word. Massacring is probably the word I would just use. I would use. Sisters of Twilight trait gain death master by nature. We get hero action success chances up 4% and they get the stalk attribute. And before we move in, we'll upgrade them. Right, so we've gone down that one, haven't we? Weapon strength for Hawk Riders. We can prove Treepin and Treepin. Ward on Splating as Wild Rangers. Glade Riders, Wild Riders, Great Stagnite, so it's insisted. Blimey, every cavalry unit. Or Eternal Garden Dryads. I think I might go for that. No, I'm going to keep going with the Hawks, because Hawks are supposed to be our specialty, aren't they? Ability number of uses plus one for Volley of Kurnos. Oh, that's cool. Oh, I think that's useful. We get Ward save 5%. Physical resistance 7% for flying units. That would be fairly good for the Hawks, actually, wouldn't it? So we might go down that one. We're at level 26. What's the highest level? I can't quite remember. Ah, no, we want to get up into these higher tiers, so we're going to keep going down that line for now. And so she improved as well. So Aspect of Isha. Hit points 10%. Armor piercing weapon damage. Lord recruit rank, hero recruit rank. Public order untainted. Uh, no, let's improve Shield of Thorns. That's one of the spells I use. Festit has taken over command of that army. There will be blood. And they ran away. This is the, life. Oh, the AI there is nowhere near as good as we are. 
And there's Malus. Do we just nip back to our own lands? Malus has to get past Trab, who's the one that ran away. Uh, we can sprint back to Karak Zorn. Yeah, let's do that, because I don't think Malus will be able to follow us. So we'll stay in there where we can replenish. Malus can't reach us unless he sprints as well, which means he can't attack anyway. And Trab is no longer in our region, so that raiding should disappear. Oh, the raiding already has. We are just losing money. Right, that means that you need to come out of the city and do a thing. Um, oh, of course, the plague has struck here, hasn't it? Why do you move so poorly? That's terrible movement range. Plague. Growth minus 30. Income. Ah, oh, that's why we're losing money. And that's going to last for seven turns. Are you joking? All right, so we need to get out of there because we're losing things to the plague anyway. But where to move, where to move, where to move. We can under go under that. It seems that there's a plague in Chakwa as well. Yes, there is. Oh, which helps the rat folk, of course it does. That does make sense. Uh, can, how far can you go? Does it show us your movement range? Alright, yeah. If we move into an ally's terrain... Hmm, no, we're still suffering plague. But Itze isn't under the effects of plague. Hmm, and we're suffering attrition because of it as well. Ah, but the Hunt Master's finally coming and getting involved. Ah, oh, brilliant. Uh, but we're losing money, so we don't want to spend any money for now. Let's end the turn there and see what happens. I really would like the Hunt Marshal to take Chakwa, because we can definitely get him on side if we just kind of wait. Just, just wait long enough. Neither of the armies in the east attack us. And indeed, Chakwa has fallen. Perfect. So Pestilence, it's, the tide is turning on Pestilence. We've just got to endure seven turns of 50% less income from Lascallon, which is all the money we make. Malice is trying to ambush us. Win three battles against the dwarfs, and we can confederate with Arguilon. Raise or sack ten settlements, and we can confederate with Talsun. Oh, that's good. Why? I am ready. It is fated. How do I save you from dying, then? <laughs> what on earth do I do? They're immune to attrition if we encamp. So at least these guys should stop dying off. Only time may rid them of this malady. Brilliant. So we have... Uh, there's nothing that we can do, basically. We are just trapped here where we will die <laughs> to the plague. Bloody brilliant. Duty, adventure. Oh, Ariel, you've upgraded again. Well done. Well, did you have two and I just didn't use it? Almost certainly. Craving right. Prey. Normal mode. Attack. Absolutely. Battle. A regrettable necessity. What a bizarre decision on his part to keep There's following no us. Other way. Ward answered to follow again. And Malice in the Underworld. Armor piercing weapon damage plus 30 for the sisters. That's not bad, is it? I don't know why Malice kept coming. He knew that we were we massively outclassed him though. Anyway, our Hawk Riders are better again. Now we could encamp and replenish, or we can push and hit Trab. Um, but Trab can come behind us, can't he? He can sneak by. So we'll just move back in there and we'll replenish in there so he can't get us. That's probably the best bet for there. And we just have to wait for this bloody plague to pass. But the Hunt Marshal has come. We need to talk to the Hunt Marshal and get him on side. But I haven't got any money to, to sweeten the deal yet. But with the Itza holding Itza and the Hunt Marshal taking Chakwa, that's a few, few things in our favour. Pestilence have lost some of the momentum from their ongoing war. Of course, as people die, we do earn more money. Uh, a trick I learned in Medieval 2. Yeah, they're just going to keep dying. There's absolutely nothing I can do to save them. Um... It's just, just, that just seems ridiculously overpowered. Given that the Skaven are already one of the hardest factions to actually deal with, uh, it seems ridiculous to me that one of their abilities can just entirely kill an enemy army. I assume our garrison is also now taking losses. Yep, they're all at half health. 
So we're probably going to have to pull back to Erin Lascallan, actually, because if we stay out there, we're just going to have to endure the seven turns in a city. If we stay out there, bad things will happen. Oh, we've encountered Illyrian. Greetings. The Phoenix Court will as you say. Ah, yes. Military access? No. No, they're not down with that. Ain't nobody got time for that. We can't get trade with anyone because it's only Nagarons. How are we doing, Nagarond? We're down to minus 20. Had grief don't like us because we just attacked them. But... Oh, look, they're at minus 8. They're going to like us even more shortly. Oh, they already do. We've already got it. But unfortunately, that attack on Hagraif has given them real annoyance. They like that we're at war with the Awakened and the war with the Beastmen. They just like the war with themselves. Um, and then it's... Oh, they don't like that I just got on board with the Eotane. But really, the only reason they hate me is because I am at war with them. If we weren't at war, they would actually be my best buddies with overwhelmingly positive relations. <laughs> but alas, it is not to be. Five more turns of plague. Our army will probably die by the time the plague finishes, actually. Now that I've just thought about it, because only time removes the plague from your army. Ah, Lord Master Mundi, you're at war with a cult of pleasure. Oh, and you're right up here, knocking on the door. Yes. The cult of pleasure won't like me for that. But if we can just position someone to better them, best them, then fantastic, I'll take it. Bleak holds the dark as Hello, what would you like? Oh, it started. Peace with one dark elf will lead to peace with others. Nice. Wintertooth and Vanaheimlings. Money from the plague is still going. The army is still suffering attrition. And there's absolutely nothing I can do about that. All right, well, this is probably going to conclude today's episode. It's been a very... Um, not much has really happened, has it? Oh, that really likes us. That's good. All right, move to our border for now, and then we'll move out in a second. And we can take back Mount Arachnos. Although Mount Arachnos is now acting as, a, acting as a buffer, stopping moors coming through and hitting us. Although they can just go underneath it, can't they? But yeah, we'll take the Lost Plateau in a climactic battle in the next one. Um, why do you dislike me? Oh, yeah, they really don't like me attacking moors. I just don't understand why. My reliability's gone up to high now, but I just can't get them on side. But it, we don't need them on side. The Elfwood will improve. At the minute, it's plus one anyway. And uh, once we get the Lost Plateau back, it'll be plus two. So we will get that back. And then we can abandon this place to moors if they really want it. But, of course, it's over here where it's all going on. If Pestilence decide to attack us, I'm not sure that we can do much about it. But for now, that is going to conclude this episode. So I do hope you've enjoyed watching along. Uh, apologies for the lack of battles in this one. But I've still thoroughly enjoyed playing it through. And I will continue to enjoy playing it. Um, once we get this plague out of the way, we can really strike back at Pestilence. And once we've got the north secured, we can get Ilfran down in the south and start really doing something down there. Um, but until that time... Do you give me more money? Oh, an extra 100. An extra 130. For a 2,220, you take 20 turns, roughly, just under, to repay yourself. We've got four more turns of losing money, so I can actually afford you. And you are the final building to be built here, aren't you? Oh, no, look, that one at top five. That needs five people. Oh, and they're available in seven turns. We might wait to get that. Those are the only two buildings left. Yeah, we'll wait it out. But anyway, yeah, so as I say, that's all for now. So thank you very much for watching, and until we speak again, Navarna den Peramad Malunin, and farewell.